Hi everybody, I'm uh, just going to show you a little technique that I've just worked out for myself and I'll show you what I've been up to lately. Um, there's some uh, one of the tea bowls that I make and then here what have I done now? here we've got a I'll get it out so we can see it's a serving tray you can see it there some little Sake cups or serving cups, you have them as a dipping cup, I suppose. But the um, the tray itself is a pot thrown on the wheel. Now that's the base of it. Without a bot, without a base, that's the bottom edge, and then we just um, cut it and then lift it off and lay it flat and then pop some feet on the bottom just simply right. the next ones of these are going to have an impressed circle before I put the feet on it so that these will uh, sit nicely they're a bit wobbly at the moment I don't like that so they'll have impressions pressed in to match the the foot ring right that's one thing I'm making the bash of I'm going to do some of these in some of this uh, stoneware clay and then I'm going to make some black ones and then here I've got some photos on YouTube or on Facebook already but these are pots the basic my basic teapot shape to be honest with you then we have pieces of clay with holes in them and I'll just show you quickly how I do that these ones here I'm not too keen on this has got a black slip on it I'm not sure about that I'm not sure about the shape of that one either but I can't just keep making the same stuff and again this is the piece I may try to make it look like wood and bark okay. And that sits on there. That one. On the hole. Try not to snap these off. Here's another one. Close up that. It's like a piece of rock, isn't it? Just going to rub oxides into these. If the world was a more simpler place, I would live like this by the seaside and be able to uh, pick up driftwood but unfortunately I have to make my own so I'll just show you now exactly how I do it so uh, we'll just cut to the next piece right simply enough this is just an old piece of gate post but I quite like the uh, the texture on it here so what I do is just take a piece of clay roll it roughly into the right shape and then we throw it until we get a nice effect and then you can twist it bend it up, bend it down and then with a uh, a drill just drill a hole to coincide with the dimensions of the the lid spigots if you like that's how they sit. That's just simply it. Not a slightly larger one. And what I do is I make uh, more than one. More than one per vessel. 
and then when I come to make the final decision I glaze it and while the glaze is still wet on here this has been rubbed with oxide and then wiped off it goes on like that slightly bigger handle I like this slightly smaller one here and the glaze that's on it when it melts it sticks this to it so there's no having to mess around trying to fiddly uh, attach this with slip because all you end up doing is just snapping these legs off because they're quite fragile at the moment so we let the glaze do it okay that's all it is uh, what else have we got this is an incised little bowl that's an experiment that's got the black slip on it with a white body put a temico over that and these here are a few more of these little uh, cups. A few more tea balls, and then up there we've got a uh, plate and my one remaining teapot that's a commission. Luckily, I couldn't get it into that last firing that blew up. Uh, that teapot there has got to be um, fired next. There's a bowl waiting to be fired. So, uh, that's it. This will go in the, in the biscuit fire once I figure out how my kiln is working. Um, that's all I to it. See you next time.